Hello, and welcome to Case of the Day. I'm Dr. Crowley, and today we're going to discuss, discuss an interesting case. This was a 19-year-old young person who came in today complaining that actually with, with her parent, with their parents, actually complaining of that their eyes have been red and irritated and crusted and matted since, since they were born. And so this has been going on for 19 years. Um, there's, this person has had minimal different types of treatment and ointment supplied, but it keeps coming back and it's actually, uh, being that they're 19 years old, this is actually cosmetic because their eyes are red and irritated and crusted almost constantly. And so um, when I examined this patient, they, they had crusting and mattering and scaling around the edge of their lashes, right where the eyelashes go into the eyelid. There was crusting and mattering, and the edge of their lids was all inflamed and red and slightly swollen. Um, and the diagnosis of this is called blepharitis. Now, the common term that you may be aware of, or many people have called in the past, is called granulated eyelids. And so this young person has blepharitis. And so we'll first we'll go over the causes of what blepharitis could be. So there's typically two causes of blepharitis. One is a seborrheic skin condition. I didn't see any evidence that this person had any seborrheic skin condition on their face. And the other uh, is a staph infection. So what happens is, is staph, um, uh, staphylococcus bacteria decides to inhabit around the base of the eyelashes and can stay there in a chronic manner. If you know some studies recently, there have been studies with healthcare professionals. They took a cotton swab inside of all of these healthcare professionals and uh, culture those and nearly 75% of healthcare workers have staff growing inside their noses on a chronic basis. And maybe in some studies even up to 20% of MRSA type staph bacteria have been, has been um, cultured out of people's noses and who are in the healthcare profession. So, and we normally have staph epidermidis, which is a very typically benign form of staph, which is on our skin all the time. So this person has had a 19 year history of this uh, staph being uh, around their eyelashes and lids and infecting them for all this time. So we started this person on a new treatment regimen that I think will take care of the problem. Uh, one thing about usual treatment of a blepharitis is first we got to clean those lashes off. So you have different ways of doing that. One way is you can take a Q-tip, wet it under the faucet, and put a drop of Johnson's baby shampoo, not baby oil because that won't feel very good, baby shampoo on the Q-tip and uh, then scrub your eyelashes. You can't do this because you never get to an eyelash. You've got to keep your eye open and scrub on the eyelashes themselves and clean the lashes off. And it really helps maybe the first thing in the morning is to take a hot washcloth, put it in hot water, hold it up and let that steam and moisture loosen that up so then it's easier to remove in the morning. In the morning. So the other thing that you can do is you can actually get a product called Lid Scrub or Ocu Scrub. And so uh, there are different products made and there are little pads that have a soap on, on the pad that also is sort of like Johnson's Baby Shampoo, does not irritate your eye, and you can scrub your lids off with those pads. We also have a form that we sell here in the office of the same kind of um, pad that has an antiseptic soap also inside the solution that's with the pad to try to kill that staph bacteria, which this is what we put this young gentleman on, was a uh, the, the scrub with antiseptic and we have a, an antiseptic foam lid scrub that is just a foam that you squirt a little bit on your lid and rub a finger and rub that into your eyelids. And so um, we also put this person on this foam to be put on at night. So just scrubbing in the morning then foam at night. And then we also can put people on different types of antibiotic drops. A lot of times antibiotic drops with a combination of a cortisone or steroid drop to cut down on the inflammation. And in this particular case I decided since this has been for 19 years that we put this this person on doxycycline which is a tetracycline. 
So a lot of teenage kids get put on tetracycline for acne for their face. So, uh, and it works, one, it's, a back, it's an antibiotic, and two, tetracycline has an anti-inflammatory component, and so those two things help cut down on inflammation and chronic infection. So we put this person on doxycycline as well, one pill in the morning and one pill at night. And so hopefully this is going to take care of this person's problem and finally clear their lids up. But blepharitis is a very, very common problem. We see it all the time in the office, and unfortunately it's got in many people chronic, and it takes continuous care, and in fact a lot of people we keep on this lid scrub hygiene forever, just like you shampoo your hair, you're going to clean your eyelashes off. So anyway, if you have any questions about blepharitis, try to contact us through the website, and until then, and we have another discussion about a case of the day, may God bless you with great vision and uh, healthy eyes.